good night, Detroit. Hey guys, it's Eric Crump here at Tag Home Care Marketing, and we're getting ready to start our first webinar for the fall season, Tap into the Power of Marketing Around Healthcare Observances. I want to send a shout out to Prince from a lead in. That was very good, Prince. You can leave now. Today is a beautiful day here in central Tennessee. We're on the banks of the Harpeth River. Uh, fish are jumping, sun shining, there's a crisp fall wind are blowing. Uh, I got the best job in the world, guys. I get to talk to good folks like you and tell them uh, ways to increase their business and best practices of all of our clients all across the country. So my name is Eric Crump and we are in Franklin, Tennessee. I work for the number one marketing consulting group in all of home care sales and marketing, TAG Home Care Marketing. And we're located right here in Franklin. We do offer boot camps. If you guys are ever in the inclination to visit uh, Middle Tennessee in the fall, it's a beautiful place to visit. We're about 20 miles south of Nashville. We can make it happen for you. I actually have four seats to a boot camp coming up on December 1st and 2nd. Uh, if you've never been to the Grand Ole Opry in December, it's almost worth the trip. Plus, you'll learn a lot of stuff. So all of our webinars are uploaded to youtube.com forward slash tag webinars, T-A-G-W-E-B-I-N-A-R-S. So you can get prior season's webinars. We uh, have a really good bank of informative webinars up there. A lot of them go into different strategies for different service groups. Uh, today's webinar, uh, Marketing Around Healthcare Observances, is, is not uh, service specific. In other words, it's good for hospice, private duty, and home care, as well as DME, staffing, some other issues. If you ever want to get in contact with me, simply call 1-866-232-6477, and I'll have this screen up again at the end, or write me an email at eric.crump at theadamgrp.com, uh, and again, that contact information will be up at the very end of our webinar. So to get started, I want to acknowledge that you guys uh, are in rough seas right now. There seems to be a quiet panic uh, settled in over home care industry as a whole. Uh, on the private duty side, it's the downturn in the economy where uh, the private duty dollars aren't flowing as freely as they were, say, about five years ago. On the skilled services and hospice side, it's all about um, people actually building these uh, proverbial fences around their patient, discharge patient populations and not trying new care providers not increasing the amount of home care they refer to. They're getting cutbacks from their major referral sources, such as Medicare, just like we are. One of the secrets in increasing your business is to learn more about your client base. Start doing patient profiling on your private duty side. Go after disease-specific or condition-specific patients. And on the skilled services therapy side in hospice, uh, know your clinical pathways and how to present those in such a way that it makes sense to your clinical referral source. And we can help you through these rough seas. This reminds me, and I want to give a shout out to the uh, fine folks in Florida. Week before last, I was actually fishing in Tampa Bay. Caught a few fish, but it was, it was similar to, it felt like that boat right there, that picture. So today's topic is using healthcare observances to market and build your local brand. Uh, the one thing we all have in common in home care sales is that we call on a finite amount of referral sources and clients, potential clients. So it's very important for us to reach out to them in an effective way. It's almost as if branding is 10 times more important than in other sales where the, we're not territory limited. I hope that makes sense to everybody. Your branding in your specific territory is of the utmost importance because that's the top of mind image that your clients and, and potential referral sources think of when they think of your agency. So keep that in mind. 
uh, nationally branded healthcare observances are a cost-effective way to build that brand. In other words, <clears throat> we teach a lot of uh, strategy on how to go and call on uh, different referral sources. And one of our major pitches is that you have to have a really good approach, something that means something to your potential client or referral source. So, uh, and because we call on a limited amount of referral sources and clients because we have a service area that is defined, we have to keep calling on them with different ideas and different approaches. It makes sense that uh, healthcare observances is a great way to change the topic on your approach to different referral sources and lead them into the sales process. Using a relationship model does not effectively build your brand. In other words, it's not about what you say about yourself. In fact, uh, not many referral sources care anymore uh, that we named our agency Heavenly on a Cloud Sent by God Baby Powder Loving Angel Grandma Home Health Agency. It just doesn't work. It's not about us. It's not about the superlatives we use. Uh, to build our brand, we need to add value into their world, and we'll talk about that as we go through the webinar. What is branding? Uh, your brand is not your logo, your specialty programs, any sales initiatives that you put forth. Your branding is the top of mind feeling that your market uh, sees you as. So your potential clients see your agency in a certain way. And it's very valuable. It's probably in marketing the most valuable thing that you can put out there. Your, it, it brings uh, to mind things like integrity, compassion, all the superlatives we like to say about ourselves, we need to brand it through benefit selling. How important is your brand? We already covered it, but it's the number one thing in your limited service uh, territory that will drive your marketing. It doesn't matter how many specialty programs you get, how much benefit sale you have, if you have a bad uh, reputation or a bad a negative branding, negative connotation. Your top of mind is that uh, you've made mistakes in the past or you have inferior clinicians or inferior staff or whatever. You can't overcome that very easily. So your branding is your message out in the community that you need to be heard. So here's examples of branding that have instant top of mind feeling associated with it, right? And all of our feelings are a little bit different, but when we look at this, these logos, the branding comes through as uh, an emotional pitch or a superlative pitch that they don't have to put up there, we already understand. In other words, Nike, we picture athletes, high performance athletes, really good shape, runners, um, all the things associated with the Nike branding. Got milk, you think of uh, the mustache, uh, kids laughing, sitting around the breakfast table. Uh, that's the branding there. Cotton is the comfort brand. Uh, there's no feeling like comfort, uh, cotton next to your skin. So you see how these different logos immediately associate a feeling and uh, how we look at, at these companies. You want to do that for your home care agency. Here's a good example of how branding can work. This is a KFC near the national headquarters in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, a couple of years ago, they had a great branding exercise where they teamed up with Susan G. Komen Organization for Breast Cancer. They painted this restaurant pink. Not only that, they had a national campaign and around Mother's Day and around October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, they send out uh, greasy fried chicken in pink buckets, which when you think about it, that's great branding because uh, this stuff's not real healthy for us, right? In fact, um, postmenopausal weight gain is one of the signature risk factors for breast cancer in women, right? However, their sales increase at these restaurants by 20%. Their bucket sales of chicken is bought by these soccer moms who otherwise uh, make their kids eat soy-based products and now they're eating greasy chicken because they feel like they're making a difference 
in the fight against breast cancer. When, in reality, all the clinicians on this uh, webinar know we're probably adding to the obesity of these children, right? But it's a great branding effect. So I want you guys to not do the fried chicken bucket thing uh, because we are healthcare providers, uh, most of us. So I want you to brand yourself around national healthcare observances and be uh, true to what drives our business the better help the wellness of our clients and our uh, discharge acute care patients. So by doing that, we'll put out the message in our local community of here's what we're about. When you think of us, think of this. So when you think of the KFC pink buckets, you think not of uh, the amount of calories and saturated fat that is leaking through that cardboard bucket. You're thinking of you're helping breast cancer. In fact, on the each bucket, they say they give 50 cents to the Susan G. Komen organization. I want you guys to brand yourself uh, in your local service community, and as soon as your name is brought up, an image, a positive image, uh, is associated. So we're going to do that, first of all, through branding uh, around healthcare observances, uh, today's webinar. I wanted to bring up a screenshot. This is our online coaching support site. Uh, we have listed every month an event calendar, which gives you a lot of different options to choose from uh, to go out and make your initial approaches into the market, some ideas on how to network around healthcare observances. So these uh, screenshots that we're showing are power plays uh, that are uploaded every month um, before the month begins, your next month's up there. You have access to those, and it has a lot of free links, uh, free templates, and ideas on how to reach out to your city uh, or your county or your service area with the branding message that you want to conduct that month. So this is what our calendar would look like, uh, a special calendar link that has the national observances associated with what we do, healthcare providers. Um, for November, for example, you, you have this National Alzheimer's Month, Hospice and Palliative Care Month, COPD Awareness Month. There's a ton of things we can do to brand our agency around these observances. Holiday that follows this month, I want to touch quickly on uh, using Thanksgiving because, in essence, that's what we want to do, to brand ourselves as uh, being appreciative of being a local community health care provider. Uh, we need to transcend our service not from begging for business, but for providing value back to the community. Uh, and Thanksgiving is a great way to do that. Uh, you can thank referral sources. You can start building relationships out in the general community. Uh, you promote your agency. You can stand out from your competition because, uh, on average, uh, referral source gets around 60 Christmas cards and Christmas acknowledgments. Uh, everything from emails that they don't open to Christmas cards that get left out on the table. And you get lost in the crowd. Uh, the average referral source gets one Thanksgiving card. Uh, around Thanksgiving. So you do two things. You beat your competitors to the punch. In other words, you're acknowledging a traditional holiday uh, first and foremost before the Christmas rush comes on. So, uh, and it'll be accounted for. They'll, they'll know that this one particular agency sent them a Thanksgiving card uh, this year, and you can uh, wrap it around the message of thank you for the referrals, thank you for being here for us to uh, be a adjunct care provider in the co uh, continuum of care service that we do for our patients. You can send a lot of messages, and they can be funny, like the turkey that's trying to get you to eat ham, or they can be actual, uh, have sentiment and superlatives uh, about giving thanks and happy Thanksgiving. So something to consider. Never miss an opportunity to acknowledge a professional day, week, or month. So we go out on the road a lot, and we do public speaking. We do uh, seminar speaking. 
I always ask everyone in the room, who are your major referral sources at the hospital? Everybody says uh, social workers and discharge nurses. And then I always say, when is National Social Worker Month? Only about one in 10 people realize that it's in March. We need to keep that top of mind. We need to always remember these national observances. We make such a big deal out of Nurses Day, Doctors Day. There's other referring professionals that have their day too. If you're one of the unique agencies that recognize when that is and make a, uh, a special uh, initiative to show the love and differentiate yourself that way, it will go a long way. So National Doctors' Day is March 30th every year. Uh, that's another way of recognizing these referral sources and just jotting down a note and staying top of mind. Uh, by marketing, true marketing means that you're keeping the pipeline open to sell to these referral sources. Marketing is not selling. However, you need to stay top of mind through marketing in order to make your case on why you're more deserving and to differentiate your services uh, one case at a time, one disease-specific patient profile whatever case you're making it on you know, any given sales call. So this is a way to send the doctor a special note and let them know that you appreciate them. Uh, of course, we all uh, know that Nurses Week uh, is the second week in May. And we can go out and not only um, tell our own staff and third-party referral sources how much we appreciate them, uh, you're talking to a nurse. I'm married to a nurse. I know uh, how nurses think, what, what their makeup is, and albeit we're a little crusty on the outside, especially some of us, these old uh, gray-haired nurses like me, but, you know, we're real soft and pushy and gooey on the inside, so if you can reach that sentimental part in your nurses, it goes a long way. That sentiment really does matter. Uh, you want to go more than just sending out a card. Uh, you can do a lot, and not just with Nurses Suite, which is up on the screen, but with every uh, one of these national healthcare professional observances, like Doctors' Day, uh, March being uh, Social Medical Social Workers' Day, Dietitian Day. Uh, there's a lot of different professional uh, days and months and weeks throughout the year. You want to hold a special celebration or reception to recognize that professional, in this case the nurses in your community. They can be honored for acts of service, years of service, exemplary courage for their commitment to the nursing profession. Uh, a lot of local private duty hospice and home care agencies that we coach have special award ceremonies and they uh, have events where they bring in third-party referral sources to their events, and it's, it's honoree events where they're honoring a local doctor or a local nurse or a local social worker, and they're a very effective way to brand yourself in giving back to the community and stay top of mind. Promote positive, realistic images of registered nurses. You can sponsor health fairs, preventative screenings, underserved areas, walkathons, etc. So uh, every local community and service area has their stories, right? And everyone has every story has an opportunity. Uh, you can brand your agency through recognition of those in your service area who have served the general public in a superlative way. And it's a great way to brand yourself and come up with some of these ideas come up with annual events. A nursing appreciation day may be uh, linked to a uh, charity golf tournament for a local uh, LPN scholarship fund or RN scholarship fund or uh, some other special uh, charity service in your service area. It doesn't cost anything. You can place articles in state or local newspapers about Nurses Week and the value of nurses. Um, when Adam goes out and we talk to general uh, marketing strategies, one of them is to make yourself a celebrity expert. 
by writing columns for local papers. They're hungry for print ad, uh, print material uh, to replace uh, public service announcements in other areas and, and blank uh, spaces. You'd be surprised if you write a concise article about uh, certain healthcare observances, how easy it is to get in local publications. And it's free advertisement and marketing. So here's uh, Social Worker Month. Uh, it's always in March 2012. Here are some designs our terrific uh, tag team designers come up with. However, I always say that uh, we can make anything happen for you because we're like a boutique printer that can take your idea and run with it. We can make happen whatever you want to happen for your local service area. So always think of us as uh, someone who can do it your way anyway and every day. Our tag team uh, guys are that talented. Uh, I'm like the angry old man that, that lives down the hall that yells at all these young, talented kids about walking on my lawn. Uh, everybody's not as old and gr uh, grouchy as I am around here. There's a lot of talent uh, within the tag team. And again, if you come uh, visit us in Franklin, Tennessee, I'd love to introduce you to the talent around here. This is just the tip of the iceberg. You're never at a loss for observance marketing opportunities. In other words, if you can dream it up, we can help you make it happen. Uh, through coaching, through uh, literature support, brochure support, ideas, design, whatever you need to happen, the tag team can make it happen for you and get your observance out there in your local community. So here's a few examples of other areas where you can make a difference in your local service community. Medical group practice week, great week. Uh, the lull after the holidays, you can go and do a parking lot uh, meal presentation January 23rd through the 27th is uh, when it happens in 2012. Patient Recognition Week is February 1st through 7th. Occupational Therapy Month is April. School Nurses Day, you can get that specific. It's Wednesday, May 10th, 2012. So these are examples of how you can wrap around some marketing, really good marketing initiatives, and build your brand in your local service community. And healthcare aren't the only useful observances for marketing. Did you know that November 4th is the 63rd anniversary of T.S. Eliot receiving the Nobel Prize for Literature? And be honest, guys, a show of hands, how many of you knew what T.S. Eliot looked like before I showed you this slide? But you can do that. You can do uh, those points. You can bring out uh, uh, activities in residential care communities all wrapped around these observances. It doesn't have to be a national observance. You can take an idea and brand yourself and add value to your sales call uh, through observance marketing. Here's another one. November the 5th, which is uh, coming up. Uh, that's when George Foreman knocks out. Michael Moore become the oldest heavyweight champ in the history of boxing. Uh, you can wrap around an activity or service around that. It doesn't have to be uh, something top of mind. It, it's a matter of fact, the more uh, unique your approach, the more it will be remembered. So you could be known as the person who has all these creative ideas. And in the end of today's presentation, I'm going to offer you 400 creative ideas. So you'll see. These are great uh, ways to reach out to the market and pre-plan certain events in your planner. If you have a quarterly event, and we always coach uh, sales reps and, and sales teams to come up with your own activity once a quarter. You could preload these activities in planners and, and hand them out, and now you have instant advertisement of your upcoming events. These planners are very useful, very colorful, and you can brand yourself uh, through handing those out as opposed to uh, any other collateral. Remember, when you're talking about collateral, it has to be functional. It can't be about us, right? I wish I had a, a dollar for every general service brochure that ends up in a discharge planner's trash can. I could retire and move to Boca 
right? Because they don't care about us. In, in, in reality, they have their own little bubble they're working in. They're taking care of patients themselves. They have responsibilities of discharging patients. Uh, we're not top of mind, and it's foolish of us to enter their world and start talking about ourselves. They could care less. Uh, that's the honest truth. Uh, what we have to do is we have to enter their world and start talking about them and their patients and add value to their world. That's why general service brochures aren't as effective as disease-specific brochures or disease-specific or condition-specific mouse pads that are functional. These mouse pads, uh, you can hand those out to your referral sources and they have use and they're at their fingertips literally uh, 12 months out of the year. And you should have your branding, your logo, your referral information, and a little bit about their world. What, what's making their patients uh, healthier? What's the better patient care model for a post-oncology patient or a post-in-stage uh, renal patient? Or what's your private duty services that can reach out to a rheumatologist with an arth arthritic care package? All those things could be printed on these mouse pads that are functional and will not end up in the trash like your general service brochure that describes how much you love your patients like you love your grandma uh, that stuff doesn't play out very well in today's uh, market, home care market. Here's another way of putting yourself top of mind and keeping it there is magnetic calendars and peel and stick calendars. Uh, everybody listening on this webinar probably has a, uh, a keypad in front of them and they're looking at a monitor. Uh, so you could be, uh, like on my monitor is a monkey that Heidi gave me, and sometimes I just look at the monkey, right? Instead of the monkey, it could be uh, one of your peel and stick calendars with your service uh, and referral number on there, right? You want to say top of mind? Then give them something functional they can use, and you'll you'll be there. Another way is to add benefit into their world. In, in other words, don't spend so much time talking about yourself and trying to convince them that uh, you are preordained to be the best in the market. Uh, they're not going to believe that anyway. However, you can effectively brand yourself by giving them useful things they can give to their patients. And you can give to your patients. Once they come on board as a home health patient or a private duty patient or a hospice patient, this is how to brand yourself to the family. Give them uh, a planner that they can use to write down medications, appointments for labs, doctor's appointments, therapy appointments, um, birthdays, just something that they keep that has your branding and logo on it. Or a health law that a doctor would appreciate. A doctor wants them to take daily weights, daily I's and O's, daily vital signs. You give them a way to get all that done and offer it up to a physician on a doctor's visit, it does two things. It brands yourself with that patient, and you're their provider of choice now because you're top of mind. And it also sends a message to that doctor that they're seeing. This home care provider is giving them something of use, and, and now I'm looking at your logo and your referral information. Uh, glucose monitoring, and again, we can make any of your ideas happen. If any uh, functional patient information you want to put out there in the community, we can do it for you. Just for hospice, um, we have a pain and symptom tracking. And other in other ways, we have scorecards, uh, quality of life scorecards. We have uh, a lot of different things that you can give the patient and their family. And actually, it, puts them more in charge of the palliative care episode. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to get that message of longevity of life and quality of life on palliative care episodes out in the community, then give them tools and teach them how to back in report to the hospice nurse or their physician or to their family, those things that are important to them. It, it gives them activities to where they think they or they believe and they are adding to the quality of the palliative care episode. The most cost-efficient and effective way to reach your referral source, without a doubt, 
the number one way to stay branded, and it's almost in all of sales, is through calendars. And here's why. You look at the re initial ROI or return on investment of, of things that we, we give, uh, we buy to give away to our referral sources. Uh, calendars have a 67% greater return than customized notepads, a 224% greater return for these customized coffee mugs that we fill up with Hershey Kisses and put cellophane wrapping around right? our sales uh, room instead of a war room, which it should look like with maps and different strategies on the wall. It looks like a craft table in there, right? Calendars also have a 657% greater return on investment than ink pens. And here's why. Across all industries, promotional campaign items would render the following in promotional profit dollars over a span of five years. Ink pens, uh, about $500. Coffee mugs, about $400. Notepads, just over $600. And that's your potential top of mind exposure to return on investment dollar. Calendars, over $2,100 return on investment potential. Unprecedented exposure. The average person views a calendar and its contents 4,380 times per year. That's an average of 12 views a day. And I have a calendar here in my office and as part of my Outlook. I can go to Outlook and look up anything, but I still have the calendar posted right here on my bulletin board because I can immediately look at it and know where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing. I transfer all my information at an easy read right here because I'm used to it. I look at it uh, as a piece of information that is always going to be there even if we lose power or if I can't get my Outlook password to work correctly, which is about one time out of four. Here's the undeniable numbers that you can look at. Messages read only once are mostly forgotten within 24 hours. That's your general service brochures. That's how effective they are. A message seen or heard several times daily is virtually memorized, and at the end of a month or 30 days, recollection of the information available is nearly 90%. So I know my conference number for conference calls only because it's right in front of me every day over my telephone. And I look at it so often. I don't even look at it to call in the right number. I know the right number. It's just kind of like a fixture of my desk. So that's how uh, you want to present your services and brand yourself with referral sources. 86% of referral sources can name the agency on their home care calendar. That alone should blow your mind, right? If they're using a specific calendar, uh, then 86% of your referral sources know your agency automatically. And a lot of them know your referral number automatically, just like I know my uh, conference call host number. So the trick is, how do you get your calendar to be the one they hang up, right? Biggest mistake you can make, uh, go to Vistaprint and get a 99-cent calendar and throw it on the desk with all the other 99-cent calendars for them to decide which one they're going to use, right? If you're going to invest a marketing dollar, there's no, other, there's no better investment than a quality calendar. And by quality calendar, I mean something that is so unique that uh, it stands out. So I talked about uh, some of our really creative design uh, and art people here at TAG. Uh, this is some of their work. However, again, they can make anything happen for you. You come up with the idea. You come up with uh, a local picture or several local pictures. We can turn it in to a piece of art for you. Right? You can brand yourself with referral sources with your own ideas through these calendars. Now, up here, uh, the recipe calendar has recipes uh, that are printed, pre-printed uh, for your referral sources because it adds value. You want to add value every month, a different value. So these recipes uh, can be your recipes. We can upload uh, personal recipes. You can have a customized calendar, but this one uh, 
has standard recipes that that are pretty cool that the referral sources can look at each and every time, and they're just beautiful. Uh, you can see on the screen. And then you want to be uh, service specific. If you're a private duty agency, you want to talk about uh, how your unique services can help a unique patient profile. Uh, there's no better way to market uh, private duty services in what I call the ocean or the clinical referral sources more than going out and, and describing disease-specific profiles, showing how you have a better mousetrap through your private duty uh, aid services or, or home care services than your competition because you have an arthritic care package or you have a post-dialysis package or you have a, a doctor visit package and here's your unique services and here's how it's built around. You can describe that every month of the year send them a message of quality by giving them a home health specific calendar. And for skilled services, you can describe what it means to, to certain disease specific populations or what the national observance for that month is. October is National Physical Therapy Month. You can describe how physical therapy adds to the quality of life of post-discharged acute patients on, with a beautiful calendar. So it means something to your referral sources, and they read it. Remember, they look at these calendar pages uh, over 4,000 times a year, on average 12 times a day. You can even go one step further. You can, you can educate your referral sources using calendars. And I'm going to give you a lot of helpful tips toward the end, so don't just think I'm cramming calendars down your throat. Um, I'm trying to educate you in the possibility of reaching out to your referral sources in a cost-effective way, right? So those of you who have already decided, okay, Eric's not adding a lot of value this month all, or this week. All he's talking about is calendars. What I'm telling you is the message is stop spending your money on trinkets at Dollar General or Family Dollar Store or going by the bagel shop or going and spending your money in ways that uh, are going to be consumed and forgotten in 15 minutes. I'm trying to tell you to brand your agency by buying a quality piece of marketing material that they're going to see thousands of times a year. Okay? So don't discount the strategy in all this uh, conversation when I'm talking about the calendars. Another great strategy is to actually teach these general practitioners and family care physicians and wellness uh, nurse practitioners exactly what it means to be homebound. What are the requirements? You know, it said that 7% uh, of all seniors uh, age 65 and older in all of our service areas would qualify for a skilled home health opening, but only 3 and a half are identified. The other 3 and a half, a lot of times leak through these wellness clinics these general practitioner office visits because it's assumed if they drove themselves to Kroger to go into the wellness clinic or to the Walgreens or, or CVS, then they're not homebound. But we as service providers know there's a distinct definition of being homebound and a lot of them qualify. If, it's a, if it takes a great and taxing effort to get to uh, Walmart or Walgreens or CVS or Kroger, then they're technically homebound and we could take care of them as home health patients. We need to get that message out and it's a great way to do it through education and exposure in calendars. We can give them a decision tree of homebound status or we can give them a decision tree of Medicare uh, criteria for uh, an opening and it stays top of mind. They see it 12 times a day and then all of a sudden they're uh, vested knowledge, the knowledge that they go to automatically about certain patient profiles changes. It will bring you in a lot of uh, business. Hospice calendars. We do hospice service calendars where we talk about the different components of hospice and, and how it adds to the quality of life. And we do disease-specific in-stage indicator information on calendars uh, for more clinical settings. There's great education in hospice services if you can convince the clinical referral sources to release your patients in a timely manner. 
based on the 16 known in-stage indicators, right? Am I getting an amen? A lot of you guys smiling? I hope so. And the other thing is there's a National Hospice and Palliative Care Organization has a ton of information about how quality of life indexes are increased with hospice services over curative services for palliative care patients. We can draw that picture and send that message one vignette, one month at a time, being viewed 12 times a day. So you can put out a hospice calendar that instead of, you're going to have a beautiful picture, but instead of uh, talking about how you love your patients uh, like you love your grandma and sounding like everybody else in your service area, you can have a pull-out sheet of core end-stage indicators relative to different disease processes and inform your clinical referral sources of here's the appropriate time you would release a dementia care patient to hospice and palliative care. Here's what uh, stage 7 dementia looks like, right? They're no longer able to verbalize their needs. Man, don't you wish uh, these clinical referral sources would release their hospice patients in a timely manner? Our whole profitability model would be different. And here's a good way to market that message. Private duty calendars, the same way. You're not just talking about coming in and uh, manning the remote control and fixing a pimento cheese sandwich. Uh, you're talking about how using your private duty services can prevent certain chronic condition patients from returning back to acute care setting, or how you can manage certain chronic conditions and keep them out of residential care and keep them uh, aging appropriately and healthy in the home. You can send your message uh, through these calendars. And they have functionality, and, and they're going to be used. Part of the functionality would be an emergency contact sheet as well. So you want to give them any and every reason uh, to have add value and keep that calendar uh, somewhere where it's seen every day. So our calendars have 13 months, full-color images, topic-specific educational tear-out guides, healthcare observances listed on every month, uh, and the ability to add your own dates. And, and clearly, they're all uh, completely customized uh, to whatever you need it to say. I'm going to give you a, a lot of great stuff at the end here. Monthly disease-specific, service-specific information. Um, we have our own photography collections for you to choose from. And most importantly, remember, 4,380 views. Uh, what piece of collateral are you giving them that's going to have that many views? So I told you I was going to have something special for you waiting at the end. If you don't have the time or inclination to, and you don't, by the way, uh, when I made the joke about your strategy uh, room, your war room, your sales room, uh, looking like a craft room, uh, I, would, I meant you shouldn't do that. Not that I wasn't giving you permission that that's okay. Uh, in fact, I want to preload you with every bit of strategy you'll ever need for approaching a referral source. Because in essence, it's not about us, it's about them. When we call on referral sources, the biggest mistake we make is we start talking and we talk ourselves out of business because we start telling them how much we love their patients and we're coming from baby powder scent, uh, fluffy cloud from heaven home care service and we love our patients means nothing to them. We need to get past the approach and on to the interview part of a sales process as quickly as possible and get them talking. Doesn't matter if you're on private duty sales call, you need to get into them into talking either about themselves or about the client or about the benefits of your service, but you need to get them talking fast. Otherwise, you're going to lose them because you're going to sound like everybody else has approached them. This is what I'm offering you today. This is our, our 2012 Power Place book. It's normally $197, but now uh, we're giving it to all attendees uh, for $97. All those disease-specific templates I talked about are on a CD, uh, and they're fully customized. 
you have thousands of dollars worth of open templates that you can copy and paste the information. You can use the templates as is. They're beautifully uh, designed templates. Uh, all that's uploaded in a sleeve on the inside cover of PowerPlays. And PowerPlays themselves, and people say, I already got that book, Eric. Well, if you got the blue one from 2011, you ain't got this one, right? This is all new material. Over 400 approaches and ideas on how to reach out to referral sources. This is this is like uh, the sales uh, guide of sales guides for next year, upcoming. So if you're a marketing director, you, you should own one at least. And then let all the good ideas flow through you, through your salespeople. They'll, they'll uh, respect you more. They'll think you're coming. All of a sudden, you took a smart pill because you don't have to do all the research on the links and all the strategies associated with it. There's strategy columns in there. There's a week-by-week -week, uh, delineated uh, strategy of going out to approaching referral source with benefit message. There's tons of collateral material there. And for $97, that's our show price. That's what we offer people who pay money to come listen to our coaching. So you guys are getting a great deal. I promised you something great at the end, and this is what it is. Also, if you are interested in uh, the best quality calendars uh, money can buy in the home health industry, uh, you can get 25% of, of all pricing. All you got to do is make a call within the next 30 days. Uh, the power plays, we're, we're going to close that off because, uh, in all honesty, guys, we can sell these for our list price of 197 all day long. So we don't, we don't need to do this. I just wanted to give you something that, to all uh, 104 of you who stuck with me till the end. I wanted to give you a $100 uh, present, and that is knocking that power plays book $100 off the price. The power plays you can get today and today only. But the 25% off published pricing for the items we discussed, uh, you call into our sales department. Uh, you can get that for the next uh, 30 days. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's the initial webinar of the season. Uh, and again, my name is Eric Crump. If you need to contact me about anything or the sales department about anything, the best way to do it is pick up the phone now and call 1-866-232-6477. Uh, you can schedule a free coaching call, and we'll talk more about you. I won't blow you up like I do on webinars. Uh, but you can schedule through our online scheduling site at www.homecarecoachingcall.com. And lastly, and most importantly, if this is your first webinar from TAG, man, uh, you could be swimming in a sea of information. If You'll just go to www.youtube.com forward slash tag webinar. You'll learn a lot of things about a lot of different sales and marketing topics that we post online. So guys, that's it. I'm going to leave my contact information up for about uh, 10 more minutes. Uh, again, I want to thank Prince for leading me on. He's a great guy. And I uh, hope you guys have a great fall afternoon.